Dr. Gress, we're at uh, AMB 2018 Stuttgart now. Tell us a little bit about the journey getting here, Jochen. Uh, so far, the year has been actually very good to us. I mean, it depends a little bit on the country, on the product, on the month, but overall it's been very good. We see this year consumption is up. We see projects, the big projects a little bit slower, the more smaller projects, but overall we're, it's been very satisfying. Now, you guys are great innovative for tooling solutions. Is there anything new here on the stand? Well, we try to have new things, but it's things that make a difference to our customers. So on all the whole range, we've been able to make new things. Uh, very exciting on the tool holding side, where we have products that solve customers' issues. Vibration dampening, uh, chucks dedicated to milling, that can also solve the issue of pullout in trochoidal milling. Uh, we use uh, 3D printing technology to make extra slim chucks. Then uh, on the drilling side, we build very strongly on our Triton series, now also available as a loose top. Uh, new tool with uh, the drill with two cutting edges with a pyramid tip that gives uh, for b better centering effect. Uh, new inserts for difficult to cut materials. And of course, solutions for the aerospace, for e-mobility, and also industry 4.0. When you look at aerospace in the UK, is it a, a more of a global market now, just not in the UK? Actually, what we see, of course, is global manufacturers working in the UK. Of course, they're a little bit worried about the Brexit that might come up. But we do see that's a global market. So if I look at the companies, they make parts for global aerospace programs. One thing you're very strong with is automotive, and with the combustion engine changing, uh, e-mobility is a big uh, new product, uh, but it's also been developing. How is that uh, working in the industry? So what we see at the moment is that the demand, of course, for a combustion engine is still very high, and that will be the driving force still for years to come, let's say a minimum five to six years. But we also see now a lot of projects coming up for e-mobility. That's still on a small scale, but the number of projects is really increasing. And MAPAL is very active, and we are providing new solutions for SETA housing, for battery packs, and also other components like scroll compressors. And I noticed uh, on your stand today that uh, additive manufacturing is playing its part. What new products do you have here using that sort of uh, technology? I already mentioned uh, hydro chucks. They allow us to make very slim, very temperature resistant chucks but also on our tool holders and also fine boring tools, we incorporate that technology in our manufacturing process because it allows us to make our tools more lightweight, which is very important when we machine SETA housing because the tools are very big. As we make them very light, we can machine those SETA housings on HSK 63 instead of HSK 100 spindles, allowing customers to save a lot of money. And do you feel that the automotive and also the aerospace will be two key areas that you'll be pushing into in the next few years? Uh, definitely. Of course, Auto MAPA is known for its automotive business. I think that will stay that way. Uh, that's why we are so interested also in e-mobility. Aerospace, we are strong in the UK in France. We do feel we can get stronger in other areas of the world, so that will be also key for us. But we're also looking at uh, supplementary business. So even automotive, we have not been so strong in cast iron machining, so that's why we have the whole new lineup there. Also, we've just recently purchased two companies in the area of dye and mold manufacturing. So the future is very bright for MAPEL? Well, we hope so, but that depends whether we can continue to bring good solutions and a benefit to our customers. And how important is the feedback from your customers? Oh, absolutely. That's why we treasure shows like the AMB or last, year the I, uh, last week the IMTS because we can interact with our customers, we can see what is working for them, what not, and also what their current issues and problems are. Jochen, it's always a pleasure. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much for stopping by.